Hey, Miles Beckler here, milesbeckler.com, and this video is an update for Facebook's Audience Insights tool. It's mid-2017, it's about May 16th right now, and recently Facebook changed a few things in the Audience Insights tool. Specifically, they removed their affinity score section, and I'm getting a lot of comments about that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at how to use what they replaced it with. And one quick second before we actually jump into the audience Audience Insights tool. This isn't going to be the most comprehensive Audience Insight tool video. I'll link you to that one in the description where I go really in depth on how to use it. I'm really, really focusing in on this one part of the Audience Insight tool, which is the affinity score, because that's what changed. So everything else from the video I'm linking to in the description below to my original video on this is still very, very relevant. And the goal here is to find the most relevant interests to your business. Another super quick note, Facebook is always changing everything. A part of becoming a good Facebook advertiser is being able to roll with the punches. So this is one of those things that when you're gonna see how I've adapted to this, and as you move forward and in my videos and other trainings you're going through, as the interface looks different, which is guaranteed to happen, and it'll probably change tomorrow if I'm publishing this today, right? Um, you're just gonna have to learn how to adapt with it. There's always going to be a way with work way to work with what Facebook gives you when they remove something there's always something in the place they're just moving things around all right let's jump in and take a look so I'm already inside of the ads manager here and you can see up here in the corner you click on the three lines and we go to the audience insights tool it's going to load it it's gonna ask me two questions if you have custom audiences you would have a third to look at your custom audience generally you want to go with everyone on Facebook it'll give you this little walkthrough but we don't need that right now so really the big area to play with is the interests here and you want to put in the interests that are hyper relevant to your business and to your product so if you're in the the make money space or internet marketing space you could put the blog titles the book titles the author names the kind of gurus in the space if you're in the health and fitness industry you put the people that are famous in the health and in, kind of health and wellness industry there, etc. Um, I've got other videos and I've explained that in detail. So I'm just going to type in Tony Robbins real quick because he's a very easy target to point at. And you can see it's now changed. We've got 1.5 to 2 million monthly active people in here. So this is all the same, right? Pretty much 90% of this is the same. But when you click on page likes, this is where we used to have the affinity tool. Down here below, this was the affinity tool, and there was this big graph on the right side. And what this is kind of how you have to roll with the punches with Facebook, right? Is we still use this down here, the same exact thing. And what they're doing is they've just ranked it in order of relevance, right? They're saying that people who like Tony Robbins, these are the other things that people who like Tony Robbins, what they like. And you might be looking at it and be like, wow, Target, really? Amazon, really? Yeah, I mean, out of 2 million people in the United States of America, like, most of those people like Amazon.com, right? Like, that is true. The goal is not to copy every one of these down. The goal is to use this as a tool to find more relevant items to add to your list of interests. And if you notice, you can click see more, you can click see more, etc., etc. So you might be thinking like, okay, Miles, I get it, right? Like, it's the same thing in the same place. That's cool. But you might be feeling, maybe you're feeling like things aren't as relevant as they were. And I hear you, but but here's what your goal is, is number one, you're going to do more research than your competitors, which means you're going to find the flakes of gold in the bottom of the pan that your competitors are ignoring. And that's how you gobble up all audience segments that allow you to market to them for extremely cheap because your kind of competitors are just focusing on Tony Robbins and the big guys. So how do you do it? You go through this entire list and you pick anyone that seems relevant. Brendan Bruchard. Highly, highly, highly relevant. Joel Osteen could be very relevant for a segment of marketing product or products that are relevant here. It might not be. Power of positivity, maybe, maybe not. But you gotta just keep going and you gotta look for the ones higher perspective. Dr. Wayne Dyer, right? The Dalai Lama. It depends on what direction you're going. And this comes from knowing your audience, right? You need to know who your audience is and who your target market is and who your customer avatar is. But what I would do here is I would write down on my notepad everyone I find, and then I'm going to use Brendan Burchard as an example. So I'll go over here. I'm going to 
eliminate, actually I'm not, just because I might spell Brendan's name, because his name's spelled kind of goofy. It's a B-R-E-N-D-O-N. Perfect. It pulled him up first, so I'm going to add Brendan. Now I'm going to remove Tony Robbins. You can keep them both in there, but I want to look at just who likes Brendan Burchard. I'm in the same area, the same tool, and I'm going to go right back down, and I'm going to look for more that I have never found or I've never been able to use in my kind of marketing before. So again, it's, it's very similar, and this is it's research. It's work, right? Like this is the work. Like it's not a list of 30. You go grab the top 30 and you go. It's a process of, okay, what's this inspire more? I don't know. They have 412,000 people I could target to. I'm going to click on it. It automatically loads them and shows me who they are. So now I can look at their page. I can see, okay, are the, would my target market be interested in these people? I can come over here on the left-hand side. I can go to the about. This is generally where you'll find their website and their web address. You can read about their story, their mission, etc. I can go to their web address and I can go look at their website and see, is this relevant to me or not? And if it is, great. If it's not, move on. Go back to the Audience Insight tool and look for more. And everyone that you pull out of here that you're like, these are really good, right? These that Let's say that one was relevant. I would then repeat this exact same process and you can see how many how many suggestions they give, right? I would then go repeat this exact same process with that audience and so on and so on. And that's the trick, right? So Facebook removed the affinity score. They renamed that section, but it's in the exact same place. And it really ultimately does the exact same thing. Your job here, really, truly, this is the job. This is the work is to do more research than your competitor. I spend hours upon hours upon hours in this tool. And the other side of it for content marketing is keyword research, all my keyword research stuff. I spend more time doing research than my competitors do. And that's how I'm able to generate constantly 10 cent clicks and below. I'm able to get leads for 50, 60, 70 cents all day long. I'm able to get my customers at a profitable rate. And it's not because I'm doing anything magic. It's because I'm putting in more work behind the scenes than 90 to 95% of the other advertisers on the Facebook ads platform. So I know that when I run an ad to an audience, I know what this audience is interested in. My ad resonates with them. I get a high relevance score and everything in my Facebook advertising works. And it all stems from research. If it sounds like work, it is. It takes a lot of time. It's a manual process. There's really no way I've ever found to automate this in any way, shape, or form. I would never pass this off to a virtual assistant because it's something that you know your niche, you know your audience and your customer avatar, and you need to be able to identify those pages that they're interested in and the pages that they wouldn't be interested in, and you just follow that rabbit hole down. I hope this has helped you understand the updates to the Audience Insight tool here inside the Facebook advertising platform. I have plenty more videos that show all the nuts and bolts and goes even deeper on how to use some of the other kind of windows inside of this tool because it is a really powerful tool. I wish you all the luck and success in your Facebook advertising. And if you'd like to see inside of my funnel, where you can actually see the landing pages, the sales pages, you can see the ads that I use to generate right around 14,000 leads and about, I think it was 200 customers or so for approximately 880 something dollars, go ahead and click the little thumb up that's going to show up right there now. Click that little thumb up. It'll take you to the, the case study. All right. I'll see you on the next video and I appreciate your time.